to Ecuador, where the presidential candidate, Fernando Villavincencio, was killed earlier this week, less than two weeks before elections were due to take place. He was a vocal crit crit critic sorry, of corruption and drug crime that has beset Ecuador. Robin Brandt has more. Two daughters say goodbye to their father. Inside the flag-draped coffin, the man some in Ecuador wanted to be their next president. One supporter can't contain himself. He calls the police hypocrites for failing to protect Fernando Villavicencio. After his assassination, this country is now in a nationwide state of emergency, on the edge of a precipice. But his government-provided police guard couldn't prevent this four days ago. This was the moment, leaving a rally, that the man who'd exposed corruption was gunned down as he got into a car. Six men have been arrested and are in jail. All are Colombian. Just days on from losing her husband, his widow spoke out overnight. But now she too needs protection. An armed guard, a bulletproof vest and a helmet to think about. They did not protect him as they should have protected him. The state was in charge of Fernando's security. The state is directly responsible for the murder of my husband. The state still has to give many answers about everything that happened. His personal guards did not do their job. Another woman now takes centre stage. This is his running mate, environmentalist Andrea Gonzalez. She's agreed to take the place of the murdered candidate. I never thought this would be permanent, she said. The bulletproof vest now an essential part of her campaigning uniform. While the suspects in the assassination are in jail, other inmates in just their underwear have been moved. There was a massive operation overnight to transfer one gang leader known as Fito. In recent years, Ecuador's murder rate and drug crime have increased sharply. Prisons are the center of the gang operations behind it. Once one of South America's stable, peaceful nations, it now sits in the middle of a borderless, organised crime battle with its Colombian neighbours and a bloody election campaign entering its final week. Robin Brandt, BBC News.